young mom now, when I say mom, but she, new, uh, to be mom, um, comes into triage and yet having some difficulty um, with pain during sex and having increased discharge, a uh, little bit of odor, um, fairly young, I maybe 19, 20 years old, and just not quite sure why that was. Um, so in true fashion, when you're uh, a pregnant mom with a concern, they do maybe a pelvic exam or they'll do um, uh, a speculum exam and uh, run a couple tests. And when we chatted with her, uh, just the concern of it being potentially an STI never really crossed her mind, I guess. Um, she, uh, it appeared as though in her face, you know, I'm, I'm in a, you know, relationship with somebody that I know and we're having a baby and, um, just a very blank stare once that provider stated, hey, we're going to run a, a, a test to see if there's any STIs of concern. And she was just pretty, pretty shocked, I guess, that that would be something that would have caused this. Um, you know, a month or so later, um, it, I would, you know, found out from the provider that there was a positive STI result. And then she's presenting with the same similar situation. Being that, you know, I was the nurse with her the last time, asked to go into triage with her and just take a little bit more time to kind of discuss maybe why this was happening and how I could help her. Um, again, she was pretty tearful and she had ended up finding out that, hey, there was maybe some discussion that didn't happen that should have happened with that partner. Um, and uh, how to kind of have that practice round with her. Um, because now she was coming back again and, you know, uh, she just needed the confidence, I guess, to be able to go in and have that discussion um, and have the ability to say this is what happened and um, how do we how do we move on from and move forward from here. I would say more common than we would like. <laughs> um, more common than I would like to hear um, that, you know, you are... Uh, being vulnerable with with your body and and you uh, believe that um, that vulnerability is maybe just left to one person or um, just left to um, you know another uh, another partner and then you come to find out that that's not the case. Yeah. You know, I, I have chatted with individuals. If this is if you could go back and if you could ask them in the first couple times that you met them or that, you know, that dinner date, do you feel like they would have been receptive to that type of conversation? And if the answer is no, then maybe that was the time to kind of red flag it and say, Hey, this is maybe somebody that I should get to know a little bit more so that I can have that conversation or I need to move on or, um, you know, having that ability to, to kind of prep the, prep the conversation. Um, Hey, you know, I, I recently had a STI check. What about you? Uh, you know, within this last 30 days, this is what I, you know, I'm, I'm, cl I'm clear for everything. You know, this is what I was tested for. Um, that, that can be a, a method for you. Um, if, you, if that's not something that you feel like you can just come out right and say, and that's okay too. Um, being able to, um, share facts and that you care about that some that person, right? Or even just sharing the facts initially to be able to say, hey, this is something that um, I've done recently. Um, what about what about for you? Have you, uh, you know, is this something that you feel like um, we can talk about? Um, you know, that kind of thing. It's not just that the condom is your level of protection, right? You're, you're, you're trying to arm yourself with multiple levels of protection. Knowing your sexual history, knowing their sexual history, two levels of protection. Condom use, another level of protection. Maybe a barrier device, another level of protection. Um, and what that does is that in case something fails, right, those protection measures fail, you know that in the back of your mind, hey, well, this, this condom d did break or we weren't, we didn't use it this time, but I have their, this level of protection knowing that, um, they had recently no other, uh, STIs of concern, if that helps. Uh, oftentimes with that new adolescent or that adult that's never had a sexual encounter, it can be very nerve wracking and very scary. Um, but if you go into it with the ability to practice having a conversation or practice having, um, uh, 
the use of barrier devices and being comfortable with that person, that will reduce that risk of anxiety and the feeling like, boy, this is so much. And why don't I just, you know, like not even worry about it? Um, because your anxiety level ahead of time, um, if you can, if you can reduce that, that way, if there is a concern, your anxiety is going to be through the roof. If there is actually a concern, I, I mean, it really is. There's, there's that, that call that, you know, that frustration. I hear it on, on people, you know, when they, when they, uh, learn that they have a positive result and the, the, the anger at times of that, um, that towards either those themselves or that partner when, when they wish they maybe would have maybe taken that extra time. <laughs> 